Hi everybody, today's focus is a viewer request. I'm testing how well hydrogen peroxide works as a disinfectant. One of my viewers, CC Elms, had left a comment on my Clorox hydrogen peroxide disinfectant cleaner video, and CC asked if I could just do a test with just plain hydrogen peroxide. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. If you're new to my channel and you haven't watched one of my bacterial testing videos, let me tell you how I go about doing it. I take a Petri dish and I label it in three different ways, A, B, and C. So what I'll do is I'll swab a surface with a sterile swab. I'll place that in B for before. I'll use whatever cleaner it is that I'm testing. In this case, it's going to be hydrogen peroxide. And then I'll swab again and put in A for after. C is a control. I don't put anything here. So if we have growth here, we know we should eliminate and not look at this dish at all for results. Let's test hydrogen peroxide's disinfecting power on my kitchen counter, kitchen sink, bathroom sink, light switch, and toilet seat. Let's get started. So I had a little technical difficulty with the painter's tape in the bathroom sink. It kept sliding around on me, so I did the best I could to make sure I swabbed only the area in between the tape. Okay, now for some results. First up, the kitchen counter. So I actually did two swabs of the kitchen counter. I just showed one for the video purposes, um, and they both showed the same result. So you can take a look at B before. Um, we have plenty of bacterial growth there, and A after, we have nothing. I can't find any uh, bacterial colonies at all. So I would say the hydrogen peroxide did an awesome job at disinfecting the kitchen counter. Next up, 
kitchen sink. We'll have two places in the kitchen sink. The first one you can see here. So before has a lot of bacteria and after still does have a lot of bacteria. I didn't see a huge amount of decrease in bacteria there between the before and the after. There's definitely a decrease, but not as huge as the kitchen counter. The second place I swabbed on the kitchen sink, I had a cross-contamination problem. So remember, when I do C for control, there should be nothing growing in here. So I made some sort of mistake along the way. So this, eh, we're going to error this one right out. So we're not even going to consider this one at all in our results. The bathroom sink. So you can see here again, before has a lot of bacteria and after still has some. What's really interesting about the bathroom sink, and it's probably hard for you to see in the film. Actually, no, I think you can see it. I'm gonna hold this like this. The before, a lot of the bacteria are yellow. That might be M. luteus bacteria, just a guess. In the after, those are all gone, but there are some smaller white colonies there. So it's just kind of interesting to see that it appears to me that some type of bacteria was definitely killed and disinfected, but some other types are still there. So I would say it did a eh, so-so job at disinfecting the bathroom sink. The light switch. So as you can see in your picture there, on the before side, there's only one bacterial colony growing. That's it. And on the after side, there's none. I don't think this is really a good bacterial sample to actually test the hydrogen peroxide's ability. So I think this one I'm gonna kind of put aside as an outlier uh, since it didn't have a lot of growth in the before section. The toilet seat. This was a great result. As you can see in B for before, different types of bacteria, different sizes of bacteria, looks really filled up with bacteria, and A after, I've got nothing. Nothing at all. There's no colonies at all. So I would say that the hydrogen peroxide is a, a very effective cleaner for the toilet seat. So I think those are some pretty good results. Hydrogen peroxide did a great job at disinfecting various areas around my house. Let's do a recap. So the kitchen counter, I give it a good. Kitchen sink, okay. The kitchen sink number two, I made a mistake. We had that cross-contamination issue, so we just ignore that one. Um, the bathroom sink, I give it an okay. The light switch didn't have enough bacteria growing to really give it a good test run. And the toilet seat, I'd say was very good. Excellent, uh, great job. So all in all, I do think hydrogen peroxide makes for a good disinfectant. As always, I'm gonna continue testing different areas in my home with some different disinfectants, as well as some ones that I've already tested for this channel. But today, really happy with the hydrogen peroxide. So keep watching for more cleaning videos and more testing of products. I really enjoy doing this. I love seeing um, how much bacteria grows around the house and what disinfectants actually work. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have yourselves a great day.